Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Onus and today I will react to the top 10 Green Day songs. I don't have a lot of time, I actually only have 40 minutes for this video, so I'm just gonna get into it right now. Some predictions are um, Jesus of Suburbia, which is my favorite, best case, okay, that, that is the top 2 right there, spoiler alert. Longview, um, Boulevard of Broken Dreams, When I Come Around, obviously. So, pretty much the entirety of Dookie and American Idiots is gonna be on there, so yeah, enjoy. I believe two Nimrod songs, Hitching a Ride and uh, Time of Your Love, of course. Brains too, I mean that's pretty much all this, so enjoy. By the way, um, I am a fan of Green Day, I like their 90s stuff, I like American Idiots and... Um, I said one album called again. That one album that everyone hates that I love. Uh, 21st Century Breakdown, like everyone hates it all, but I love it. Yeah, it's too poppy, it's too easy, but it's different, it's a different kind of green day, I like it. Uh, Brains 2, Jaded. Or yeah, just Brains 2, I guess. This track off Green Day's fourth album. Which is pretty much a Chicago, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the band's called Chicago. It's a Chicago ripoff song, so do whatever you want. I mean, this is kind of like a punk video in a way. It, it has to be short, it has to be precise. Well, not to say precise, but it has to be short, it has to be rapid, it has to be, yeah, just in your face. It just has to be quick. That's punk, pretty much. Perfect. Never, I never was a huge fan of punk, but I like Green Day because they have that pop sensibility, and they're way better than any pop punk band, honestly. Many people consider the greatest pop band, pop punk, pop punk band to be uh, Blink 182. And if you know anything about me, I fucking hate Blink. So there we go. Oh shit, my video is there. We go. Uh, hitching a ride. I love all the songs so far. Brains 2 is kind of like a heavy metal song. Uh, that, that is pretty much the heaviest album, really. Brains 2 is pretty much the heaviest song. Jaded is pretty much heavy, so. Hitching a Ride is pretty good too. Kinda, yeah, I would say this is the definition of a pop punk song. It is punk rock, but it has that poppy sensibility to it. So yeah, Green Day easily the best thing to come out of this, honestly. Billy Joe Armstrong keeps the pace with his vocals and guitar work, and then the song culminates in a build-up. Yeah. That's just our kind of rough. Uh, speaking of songs that I love, Welcome to Paradise. Number eight. Welcome Such to an amazing song. Though it was originally recorded for the plus, it's the version of Dookie that we put here. Yeah, I mean the Kerplunk version is it sounds just sounds like a demo version to me, whereas this this is the real banger. I mean come on. The third album's second single kicks off with a black. Mike Dern is a fucking freak, man. Welcome to paradise. I mean, Mike Dern is the definition of a pop punker. It, it sounds like ass, but he really is, honestly. Not even an insult, in a way, really. He defines all zip genre, so there we go. Or Billy Joe, for that matter. Trickle looks like a nerd. Uh, when I come around. I mean, Dookie is just such a classic. I mean, come on now. To name your album after shit, and it's still great. I mean, that's Green Day for you. Guys, tonight, man, I'll be back. 
Yeah, it's so catchy, my work played this. That's how catchy it is. And those guys are practically tone deaf, so yeah. This is a hella catchy song. Uh, Boulevard of Broken Dreams, yeah, I know, I watch these videos too much. <laughs> I have nothing to do, leave me alone. I love the song. And I love the lyric. Uh, I walk a lonely road together with my bandmates. I love the lyric. <laughs> that bandmates part isn't an actual lyric. But the lyric is I walk a lonely road. Mate, you're walking with your mates. Like, what? What do you mean, man? I love those drums. I love the breakdown here too, when it just fades out, you know, it takes forever to fade out, but I love that part. Uh, long view, like it's, it's Dookie American Idiot, Dookie Idiot, Dookie, you know, it's... Number five, long view. It's kind of like the Smashing Pumpkins thing, it's kind of like, you know, they have two amazing albums in their discography and that's kind of it, honestly, you know, Oasis too. But, well, I would say they have more great records, but... Generally, Oasis seen as a two-hit wonder band. That's kind of every band ever, or mode band. They have like they have uh, one banger in their discography. That's what made them a household name. Or they have two, you know. This concert might have the greatest name ever. I believe it's called Bullet in a Bible. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. It's an awesome title. The Grammy nominated number was also accompanied by a music video that quickly caught on with the masses. Ooh. Uh, good rate of the time of your life. And I mean with a bass line like that, but such diverse moments and then having a slow, slow jam like this. It shows that Green Day is a diverse band and that's why I love them. And I also love the... Fuck! I love that. <laughs> that's pretty much my favorite part of this songwriter. It's not a bad song, but it's just... You know, it's not really my thing. I'm glad that it exists because it shows how diverse Green Day is, but outside of that, I'm not a huge fan of it. My tip, don't click on any other test because my video just froze. Oh, hell yeah. Like, this song is hella popular with, with people like that and the radio, of course. American Idiot. I mean, this top three is amazing. American Idiot, Jesus of Suburbia, I love Warning, by the way. Picture book, yeah, but then better, in my opinion. I'm gonna get a lot of shit for that. Oh, warning is better than picture book. Come at me, come at me. I don't give a shit. Don't no, please. I don't have time for this. Fuck. Go fuck off, Ed. Oh, oh my god. I literally have no time for this. My, the fucking Ed just froze. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, there we go. There was an Ed coming up, but it just skipped. There we go. That was so weird. I mean, I, lo I love it that the song is relevant again. Like, you know, the, the fucking Donald Trump era. America, American idiots, Donald Trump. It's so fucking relevant right now, I love it. 
Like, I love it a little bit more than Dookie because it's it's more consistent. It has the better songs. Number two, Jesus. It doesn't have, you know, the production isn't as good as I would say, but the songs are better. And ultimately, ultimately, this song is fucking nine minutes long. Do I need to say more? I'm pretty sure this is the longest Green Day song ever. So of course I love it because it has different parts. It's nine minutes fucking long. It's a rock opera. It's you know it's it's kind of like a modern Who album in a way. Come at me. I don't give a shit. I love this song. I, I, I love the I don't care part. I love that part. I don't care. I actually um, played this at my grandma's house. Yeah, I'm dumb, I know. But I played it with earpieces. So my grandma saw the video and she saw the making out part, the, the blonde chick. And she thought I was watching porn. <laughs> and I was like, no, grandma, I'm watching Green Day. Same thing, right? <laughs> same, same fucking thing. <laughs> Music. Let's not go further than that. Fuck's sake. Is that the middle finger? Oh yeah, Billy Joe just flipped someone off. There we go. Like I love Billy Billy Joe's attitude, and then the shirt 20, 21 guns, 21st century breakdown. But I love his attitude. Just don't give a fuck attitude. Geek Sting Brad from Insomniac. I love the song too. Waking up when September ends, American Idiot. This is my funeral song right here. I'll, I'll fucking love this song. Like, it's it's about Billy Joe's dead father. So, of course, it's personal to every everybody who is a Green Dead fan. It's personal to us. Are We The Waiting from American Idiot. Yeah, I like this song too. It's sketchy, so. Oh, she. She is a great, she is a great song. I love, I love she. Uh, of course. Basket case. Do you have the time to listen to me? Why? Recounting box spots and anxiety issues, Dookie's third single immediately caught on with people who related to its melodramatic lyrics and unforgettable punk rock and pop punk sound. I love the that the pupils are like really colorful in this video. That's like a nice detail. My whole video just froze. This is, well, I want to say this is arguably the the best fucking um, Mike Dirt moment right here, but that's a long view. I mean, go on. Best in case is a close second though. Close? No, it's it's second place. Long view is easily the best. My whole video just froze. It just froze on Billy Joe having his hand in his pocket and doing this. My internet is so shit. For more top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Stay charger. There we go. Yeah. Fuck sake. Um. Yeah. Thanks for watching this video. I have no time anymore. Uh, I love Green Day. Love their 90s stuff. I love American Idiot. Yeah, that's pretty one of my favorite record by them. Although that is kind of a controversial opinion, I suppose. 21st Century Breakdown is a guilty pleasure of mine. You know, a record that everybody hates it. I love 21st Century Breakdown. Uh, I fucking hate Uno Dos Trilogy. Uh, Uno Dos Trilogy. Uno Dos Trash uh, Trilogy. I recently reviewed it and it was dog shit. The only record I haven't heard by Green Day is uh, Revolution Radio. And that's, you know, looking at the rating, it's not really looking promising. It has a worse rating than DOS, so that should say something. So, uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what are your favorite Green Day songs, favorite moments by them. I'm pretty sure my camera's about to die at any moment. Maybe it's already died, so I'm just gonna end it now. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel for a video. Like, don't do all the usual stuff, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.